Hi guys, I was in Poundland the other day, one of my bargain stores, and spotted this spirit level, as I'd call it. Yep, 60 centimetre spirit level. And I looked at that and I thought, rubber band powered car. So that's what we're going to do. Only cost me a pound in Poundland, so I'm going to take out the spirit levels or the individual bubble packs and just use this as the chassis for a rubber band powered car. Drill a couple of holes through it, put a couple of axles on, four CDs for wheels, add some rubber bands and that will be job done. A very simple rubber band powered car. Just see if I can get these out. Oh yeah, that looks easy enough. that one was. I think they might have a little bit of glue in them. Sure, I can find some use for them at some time. Slight diversion, just had to put new batteries in my grandson's Night Spire. I should keep him quiet for a few more minutes. up a little bit. Right, now we need some barbecue skewers and some CDs for wheels. I'll pinch them off this car. That saved me a bit of time. If you need to know how to make CDs into wheels, there'll be a link in my video description to a little help file. So there we go, job done. But to make life a little bit easier, I'll put a little stick or a bit of barbecue skewer sticking out of the middle there so we can hook the rubber bands on easily. Just a little piece that long, and I'll hot glue it straight onto there. So I'll turn my hot glue gun on. Any other glue will do that will stick wood to wood, or in this case bamboo to bamboo. And to complete it, we'll use some rubber bands from Poundland. which are only pretty cheap, thin ones. Push it through. Push it through itself. Pull it. Join together. Push it through back through itself, join together, through, back through itself, join together. Doing this because I keep getting questions on how to join rubber bands together. And I guess if you've never done it, it's a valid question. Some of these rubber bands look a bit dry, I think they may break before we use them. And these are very weak rubber bands.
That should be enough. So, poke them through that hole I drilled at this end. And then pull the whole string right through. And then when we want to use it, see that hook there, Ooh, just little peg, hook the rubber band over it and wind it up. Make sure the rubber bands don't touch the sides of the car or that will slow it down. We'll go and try it out in the kitchen. We're down in my hallway, ready for the test run. It'll be the usual one. Through the kitchen. Kitchen's five metres long. Uh, with a bit of luck we'll carry on into my conservatory. So, the first thing we'll do is wind up the rubber band. I've had a few comments that people can't see what I'm doing, so I'll try and keep my fingers out of the way. Hopefully you can see the little peg sticking up on the side of the axle there. So that's so we can hook the rubber band straight over it, just loop it over there. I'll hold it in place so we can wind it up. When you wind it up make sure it doesn't rub against the sides of the bodywork that will actually slow it down or may even stop it working. You may find you get to a point like that where the wheel's turning and the axle's not turning. That's because it's a bit of a loose fit on the axle and the best fix for that is to put some glue on there to stop it slipping. If I turn them both at the same time we've probably got just enough grip. But that's probably enough anyway. They're pretty lightweight rubber bands. So we'll see if we can point it in the right direction and go all the way through. Pick the, pick the camera up. That's what we're aiming for. the length of the kitchen, 5 metres, plus a bit more, probably another 3 metres thereabouts. So we've done 8 metres quite easily. Still got some rubber band left on the back axle and we don't know how far it would have freewheeled anyway. It's a relatively heavy body so once it's built up momentum it'll probably keep going for quite a distance. So there we go. A Pound land, rubber band powered car made entirely from items from Poundland. Well, apart from the bottle tops, although I expect I could have bought, bought my milk there and got the bottle tops off of them. Job done.